Turn a dollar to a million, ho, what's happening? Uh, yeah, hey. What is up guys, Dashing here bringing you yet another episode of CMB and live we are for NGW episode 12 and we are jumping straight into the action guys, big matchup to get the show underway this evening as Joe Blade, fresh off of his huge win guys, last episode of NGW against Paul Devine, preparing to take on Trevor Hannibal here at the top of tonight's show. And of course, Joe Blade wasted no time following his victory over the Asian sensation. Gloating, bragging on social media. And to his credit, a massive win. No doubt the biggest win of Joe Blade's NGW career thus far. And hoping to follow it up with a win against the former NGW champion here tonight. Joe Blade already feeling as though he deserves to be named the new number one contender following his win in Miami against Sexton Stone and then while well, beating Paul Devine has only succeeded in inflating the ego of Joe Blade, which as we know is already big enough to fill the entire arena here. Well, Trevor Hannibal, a man that's hungry, coming off of losing his NGW championship at Checkpoint Miami, guys, in the scramble. Needing to bounce back and bounce back big with this win here. We've got a great show to look forward to. We have got Tristan Parker making his in-ring debut. Not to mention the Cyborg Invitational continues in our main event. The end of the first round as Cedric Kovic takes on August Sky. Currently, we know that Kieran Gallagher and Tommy Blaze tied for first, winning their first round matchups last episode of NGW. But right now, it's Blade, it's Hannibal. Two big, beefy boys about to slap me right in the center of that ring. And Hannibal certainly trying to come out swanging, but got caught with a discus form. Smashing Blade, wasting absolutely no time going to work. Elbow drops to the inside of the knee. Blade driven by self-confidence coming off of these big wins over the last few weeks. Sending Hannibal out of the corner. Early pinball attempt. That would be crushing for Trevor Hannibal. Of course, wanting to earn that shot to reclaim the NGW Championship. And speaking of the new champion, guys, kicking off his reign a little bit later on. Byron Kruger here and will be in action. He waits to find out who exactly is going to be stepping up, who's going to be his first challenger. Zach Cage, our general manager, has yet to make a decision. Perhaps watching this match closely, though. Big butterfly suplex at ringside. Blade, though, with a kick to the midsection. Scoop slam onto the apron. We all know the ring apron, the absolute hardest part of the ring. Thoroughly cracking the back of Trevor Hannibal there. Back into the ring. Hannibal waiting for him. Unfortunately, just not quick enough, though. Nice counter, however, by the former champion. Knee to the chest. Another one taking Joe Blade down and into the full mount now. Some left hands trapping the jaw and a stop to the gut on the way out. Hannibal now taking control. Grabs a hold of Joe Blade's arm. Cracks it. Trying to tear it off. Wouldn't be surprised to go into Hannibal's house and see a trophy case just filled with 
Many body parts. Trophies. Into the corner. The hardcore king is sent. Joe Blade. He's slamming off the turnbuckles. Look at the power. Trevor Hannibal is no small guy, man. Belly to belly. Suplex overhead. Into the pin. One. Joe Blade not playing around with your boy here. Trying to put him away nice and early. This one against Paul the Vine. Last episode of NGW, guys. Cannot be understated. Another pinfall attempt off that tab pull splash. But Hannibal not to be punked out here. Slowly brings him to a seat. Hannibal lying in wait with an elbow to the midsection. Big old knee to the jaw. Now a quick pin attempt by Hannibal. He's only going to get a one count though. Tries to get to his feet. Hannibal making sure he stays down. Back suplex. Ooh, drops him into a single knee gut buster. We of course know the next stop for the superstars of NGW guys going to be Checkpoint London in just a few weeks. Oh, Trevor Hannibal with the spirit bomb. Spirit bomb by the hardcore king. One, two, but that's all. The former champion's going to get Joe Blade quickly rolls to the outside, but he's not going to be safe out there. Suicide dive by Trevor Hannibal, keeping the pressure on Joe Blade. Stomp to the gut on the way out. Hannibal knows he's got Joe Blade hurt for certain. Throws him gut first into the steel steps. So a referee already up to a count of three here, but Hannibal doesn't seem concerned. Knee to the jaw of the bona fide movie star. Long smash thrown out, caught by Joe Blade up against the barricade. That's where Hannibal's going to stay as Blade uses the time to get back into the ring, going to mock Trevor Hannibal. Lying in wait, cheeky jab, big right hook though, caught by Hannibal, takes him down, and acting quickly while he's got the chance. Close line from short range, just about decapitating Joe Blade. Hook to the jaw, gonna set him up for you know what, the Omega Driver, but Joe Blade saw it coming. Big close line, back body drop. Hannibal won't stay down, but Joe Blade on that boy, like what on rice, spine buster. Into the pin, that'll do it. One, two, no it won't. Joe Blade's not finished though. On the hunt here, Hannibal to his feet. We know what Blade's looking for. Vertical suplex trying to turn it into the sit-down powerbomb, but Hannibal escapes, knee to the back of the head. Blade scrambling, pulled up to a back suplex. Into the pin, middle of the ring. One, two. What a matchup to kick off NGW episode 12 here, my friends. Two top contenders, no denying it. Both then leaving it. Oh, that ring spear! That's what he beat Paul Devine with. One, two, but it's not going to beat Trevor Hannibal here tonight. Blade looking for it again. Kick to the gut, setting him up with a sit out power bomb. And surely, Joe Blade wanting to make sure Hannibal doesn't get a lucky rope break. Shoots the half, boots the leg. Uno, dos, tres, Joe Blade with another big win here tonight. Well, I don't think he's done, guys. Joe Blade's not done. Sending a message to the locker room and to Zach Cage. You know what I want. Give it to me.
action continues up next, my friends, here on NGW, episode 12. As RJ Kidd taking a break from the Cyborg Invitational, coming off a loss in his first round matchup to Tommy Blaze. Hoping to bounce back and get some momentum before the start of the second round. It looks like he's not alone. RJ Kidd being followed to the ring by the Asian Sensation. Well, for good reason, RJ Kidd's opponent here, Tristan Parker. Making his in-ring debut, the social media star, of course. Last episode of NGW coming out after Paul Devine's loss to Joe Blade and seemingly mocking the Hall of Famer, laughing at him. Devine, I guess, going to peek this match from ringside. See what Tristan Parker's all about. Maybe Devine will be the one laughing by the end of this matchup. Millions of followers across all of his social media accounts. A household name in many parts of the world. Tristan Parker, though, for the first time ever, venturing into a wrestling ring. And wasting no time making an enemy of Paul Devine. Seemingly not impressed with the performance of the Hall of Famer last episode of NGW. Look at that, he's even got his phone in hand right now. Vlogging live to his Instagram followers as we speak. Looking to dazzle them in his debut. So here we go, RJ Kidd, Tristan Parker with Paul Devine. Popping a squat at ringside. RJ Kidd gonna start off strong, great combination. Parker, maybe not the way he wanted his in-ring career to begin, nearly. Taken out just that easy, only a one count. I'm sure Paul Devine would have loved to see that. Coming up next, guys, Byron Kruger. Kicking off his reign as NGW champion. Well, Scott, Mr. Green, one on one with Nick Avery and our co main event. Of course, our main event, the end of the first round and the Cyborg Invitational as Cedric Kovic will take on August Sky. Big kick to the back of RJ Kidd, followed up by a stop to the bicep. Don't get it twisted. Tristan Parker has been training for months in preparation for his arrival here at NGW. He's been vlogging the whole way. There's millions of followers watching along, taking this journey with him. Big elbow to the midsection. Responds in kind as RJ Kidd with that kick. Out of the corner, Parker is sent. Why Tristan Parker would decide to Make an enemy of someone like Paul Devine his very first night here at NGW. Do not ask me. I mean, I do say, go after the biggest fish in the pond to make a name for yourself. The biggest guy in the yard, if you will. And Paul Devine certainly is here at NGW. Down to the outside, RJ Kidd is set. Tristan Parker going to have himself a little bit of fun. Look at this, though. Whoa! Okay, that was really awkward looking for a moment. That was kind of cool. I'll give Tristan credit, but it might earn him a few thousand followers. It's not going to win him this match, though. Oh, nice sit-out face buster by Parker. Knee to the back of the head, and Tristan going to further show off. Flexing what he's got. Divine continuing to watch from ringside. Not seeming all that impressed. Kick to the midsection. Good old-fashioned DDT. 
RJ Kidd certainly in trouble right now as Tristan goes up to the top rope. Social media sensation taking a big risk here. Blockbuster! Lucky for him, it pays off. Expertly executed. Not going to stop there. Stop to the foot. Jeez. Followed up by a drop kick. Looking to catch his breath at ringside, but Tristan Parker not going to give him the opportunity. Again, going to mock RJ Kidd. Well, I think we can see Tristan Parker very full of himself. Look at this, going to do it again. Having a whole lot of fun at the expense of RJ Kidd. RJ Kidd ain't about to let that happen. Kick to the gut, going to suck the air right up out of him. Now an Irish whip into the corner, full steam ahead. Ryan getting a bit hyped up, watching from ringside, knee to the face, down goes Parker. Is it good night? One count, Parker slowly to his feet, able to action roll out of the way. Whoa, what a kick! What a kick! RJ Kidd is out like a light, but Parker's not done. Holy shit! Going for a red arrow! But RJ Kidd able to avoid it. Going after the ankle now, it's RJ Kidd. Tristan Parker may have just served himself up on a silver platter. Going for a high risk maneuver like that. Backslide driver trying to escape. RJ Kidd stand on him. What a super kick. Parker desperate. To find refuge to the outside, slingshot four on Smash. It's all RJ Kidd right now. Here comes Paul Devine getting a closer look. And now it's Kidd who's feeling a bit full of himself. Tristan Parker looking for a viral moment here in his MGW debut. Day four on Smash. Shoulder making sure that RJ Kidd stays in place. Parker just resorting to stomping on him now. Has abandoned the high risk offense. Punches the bridge of the nose at this point. Quickly sweeps him up this kid. All the line getting hyped from ringside. Crossroads lays out the social media sensation. One, two, but does not put him down much to RJ Kidd's shock. All these NGW fans liking what they're seeing here. Tristan Parker punched the back of the head, freeze and shatter. Back to the top. Tristan Parker looking to maybe, no, moonsault. Thought he was gonna try for the red arrow again. To the outside goes RJ Kidd. And Tristan Parker, man, just relentless here with his bravado, his eagerness to show off. RJ Kidd giving it back to him. That's going to piss Parker off. Elbow to the back of the head. Big knee to the jaw. Highly competitive matchup here between two young guns. Tristan Parker. In his debut with Paul Devine watching at ringside, tries again for that kick, but instead nails a knee, gonna bust. RJ Kim wide open. Hang on a second. What the hell is this? Tristan Parker tying RJ Kim up. I don't even know what the hell to call this. But RJ Kim able to escape. And to their feet, another super kick. RJ Kidd not allowing Parker to go very far. Super kick does not fully connect, though. Tries to go low. Parker was ready for it. Great trio kicks there. Kick to the side of the head by Kidd. Long smash. Trips him up, though. RJ, cross face, cross face, cross face locked in. Cross face locked in. And just like that, it's RJ Kidd 
who has Tristan Parker in big trouble. But gets out of it. There's the viral star. Oh shit! Lion Tamer! Lion Tamer now locked in! Tristan Parker slipping up. But gets out of that as well. Parker now realizing he's in trouble trying to put this thing away before it's too late. Might be too late already though. Asai Moonsaw in the reverse DDT. No time to waste. RJ Kidd with another crossroads. Into the pin. One, two, three, and RJ Kidd picking up the win. What a match. And well, now it's Paul Devine who's not looking all that impressed as he watches from ringside. I'm impressed though. I didn't think much of this kid. I wasn't sure he could hold his own in that ring, but I'll tell you what, that was a humdinger and a half. But RJ Kid victorious in the end. And Paul Devine now with a cheeky smirk. Looks like RJ Kidd, the one going viral here tonight. Our third matchup of the evening here now, my friends, still to come, of course, in our co-main event. It's Mr. Green one-on-one -on -one with Nick Avery in our main event. Cedric Kovic, August Sky in a first-round matchup for the Cyborg Invitational. But coming up next, Byron Kruger with some swagger. Walking towards the ring. Set to kick off his reign as NGW champion here tonight. One-on-one -on -one with Sexton Stone. Of course, it was in Miami. The championship scramble that Kruger emerged. The new NGW champion. He is just exuding confidence as he slowly makes his way up the steps into the ring. Just soaking in this moment here. What a battle it was. That championship scrambled. And the dust settled, though. When all was said and done, Byron Kruger leaving Miami with the NGW Championship and now waiting to see who his first challenger will be come Checkpoint London in a few weeks. A lot of people lining up. 
going to Zach Cage. The general manager saying, I deserve that shot. I want the opportunity. But maybe Sexton Stone with a win here tonight will put himself right at the front of that line. Cold Stone's Creamery coming off a big win last episode of NGW. Knocking off Stalwart and Mr. Green in tag team action. Now it's the big sexy daddy. Looking to perhaps leave here tonight with a non-title victory against Byron Kruger. Sexton Stone. You might recall, made it to the finals of the NGW Championship Tournament at the start of the new season. It was down to he and Trevor Hannibal. Sexton saying, a lot of people never expect me to even make it that far. They counted me out. May have come up short against Trevor Hannibal, but Sexton saying he is destined to wear that NGW Championship one day. And again, a non-title win here. Might make Zach Cage pin him number one contender. Byron Kruger hoping for a win to kick off his reign here. Comes exploding out of the corner, but Sexton was ready for a big man. Using his power instantly. Throwing down Kruger and now off the ropes with a springboard clothesline. Good Lord. Irish whip. Able to dodge that kick though. Hurricane Rana by Kruger. The enigma of NGW. We still don't really know much about Byron Kruger. He's truly a mystery. Shrouded in darkness almost. Big drop kick to the chest. One thing we do know for certain is he is the NGW champion. It's not by mistake. It's not by luck. He survived that scramble. He deserves to hold that NGW championship, but now he's got to keep it. There's a long list of hungry challengers lining up backstage. We were able to throw Sexton into the corner, caught with an elbow to the jaw, though. Quick thinking by the milkman, charging one another. Look to the jaw, going to spin the champion around. Elbow to the jaw, keeping Sexton at bay. Big old suplex just tossing Byron Kruger all to the side and followed up with some stops to the chest. Well, guys, do not miss it. Later tonight, once we've wrapped up with NGW episode 12 here, part one of Showdown at the Senate 2. That's right, it's going to be a two-part event. Part two tomorrow night. We go to Washington, D.C., and Shea Hoxton sits behind the general manager's desk, takes over for one night only. Showdown at the Senate, too. Looking forward to that first ever pitch black match between Blink Virtue and Bison the Barbarian. Discus punched by Sexton Stone. Followed up by a senton crushing the ribs of Byron Kruger there. And again. Grabbing him by the hair. Caught with a kick, though. Trying to shake it off. Byron fixing to drag him over to the ropes, but Sexton Stone doesn't allow that. Quick close line. Kruger, though, even quicker to escape out of the ring. Sexton trying to join him. Caught from behind. Oh, God. Atomic drop to see the way Sexton's leg got caught on the apron. Knee to the jaw, guys. Things are not looking good for the milkman right now. Up to a count of three already in Byron Kruger. Vertical suplex. You hear the thud. Sexton's a big guy, man. That shook the entire arena. Power bomb, final flash knee, right between the eyes to follow it up. On the count of six, Sexton Stone making sure Byron doesn't get lucky with a count out victory here. Tries to take a cheap shot, 
But Sexton Stone instead sends him into the corner. Clothesline though, waiting for him is an elbow. Irish whip on the rebound. Goes low. Snap German suplex by the champion. Double boot stop, vintage Morton combo, no. Unbelievable. Instead of four, Smash takes a step back and the Claymore kick. Sexton Stone in a world of hurt right now and Byron Kruger relishing in the opportunity to put him down. Looking for the Patella Brain Buster. Gets the big man up, but Sexton able to make himself an exit. Gets free, and just like that, Byron Kruger, you've got a special delivery. Sexton Stone coming up on a huge win here. One, two, oh, Kruger. With a millisecond to spare there. Staying alive, much to the absolute shock and awe of Sexton Stone. Not finished as the milkman looked like he was going to the corner trying to set a little something up. Atomic drop of his own. Knee up the bum. Last call, fall away, slam Sexton is keeping the pressure on the NGW champion. Balls to the outside, Sexton over the top of the punch. All that weight coming down on the Byron Kruger. Fires back of the hood of Havana. Incredible action this far here on edition 12 of NGW. We still got two great matches to look forward to. Mr. Green, Nick Avery up next in our main event, Central Kovic, August Sky. Sexton now getting a bit dirty, choking out the champion. Belly to belly suplex very nearly, sending Byron Kruger over the barricade. Guys, we're up to a count of seven here, by the way. Sexton does not seem to care. Uranagi now gets back into the ring. Breaks the count. What a legend. Doesn't want to win like that. Wants to definitively beat the champion here tonight. The Sexton Stone. Numerous stomps to the chest. Back up to a count of three already. It is all Sexton Stone right now, man. He is on your boy. Like peanut butter on jelly. Nice counter out of the pump handle by Byron Kruger. He's got to take this fight back into the ring. Up over the shoulders. And we use the barricade, ramming Sexton Stone. Lower back first. Back elbow just doing a number on Sexton Stone right now, up to a count of seven. Kruger gonna get himself back into the ring. Mocking these fans here in attendance who might be behind the milkman. Off the ropes. Beautiful springboard drop kick. Catching Sexton Stone off guard. On the fireman's carry. Rolling senton. Byron Kruger thinking about his next move. Can't think too long. From the corner, another Claymore kick. And no time to waste. Kruger's got Sexton dead to rights and he knows it. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Countering the Vitella Brain Buster attempt again. Sexton Stone. Special delivery a second time. Surely, surely that's got to be the win right there. One. Two, three, yes! Sexton Stone has just pinned the NGW champion. But he's not the only one that wants a shot at that NGW championship. I said it's a long line backstage, guys, and look who it is. 
J.B. Hayes throwing his name into the hat. He wants the shot at Byron Kruger's NGW Championship. Into our co-main event we go, my fine feathered friends. And as Mr. Green makes his way to the ring, prepared to go one-on-one -on -one with Nick Avery here, you might notice flanked by not only Stalwart, but the Bogan Bros as well. Clients of Reese Matthews, guys. The Bogan Bros. We saw earlier this week getting very frustrated with their manager. The fact that they haven't been seen on NGW programming in weeks. Feeling as though Reese Matthews pays more attention to his star client, Ugbjorn. And they're fed up. They've had enough, so they made a call. And they made that call to Mr. Green, the Paragon of prosperity seemingly offering them a better deal. Reese Matthews got to be watching right now, pulling his hair out of his head. Losing the Bogan Bros to Mr. Green, building his own empire here in NGW. Look at this, as soon as they Sign that deal with Mr. Green. Here they are before our very eyes. Joining Stalwart at ringside 
as Mr. Green prepares to take out Nick Avery here in what should be a, an incredible matchup. And I want to I wanna feel for the Bogan Bros a little bit. It's understandable. It's true they haven't been seen on NGW in weeks. Weeks. I think the last time we saw them was that number one contenders match last month. And Reese Matthews does more often than not seem to pay more attention to Ugbjorn. That's his star client. You know what I mean? That's his bread and butter right there. But now he's paying for it. The Bogan Bros jumping ship. It's Nick Avery here tonight that has to contend with a very busy ringside area. But, well, he's feeling good coming off that win against Sebastian Monet in Miami. A great win for the Spirit Walker and hoping to follow it up with a win against Mr. Green here, much like everyone else, much like Joe Blade, Trevor Hannibal, Sexton Stone, J.B. Hayes, as we just saw. Both these men wanting to be named number one contender by Zach Cage. One of them going to strengthen their case here. Mr. Green with his newfound associates at ringside. Nick Avery, here we go. Poe, ring that bell. Let's get it on. Mr. Green comes out. Ready to swing. Nick Avery, ready for him, though. Quite a collection that Mr. Green has put together here. Stalwart and the Bogan Bros. Got a feel for Reese Matthews a little bit, though. He's a busy man, you know what I mean? He's been doing his best. Got to be fair to Reese as well. Now sympathize with the Bogan Bros, but Reese Matthews, this is new to him. He's only been a manager, you know what, maybe five, maybe six months or so. If that, he's new to the game, all right? Now he's just lost half his clientele. Goes after the left knee. And Mr. Green certainly doesn't care about Reese Matthews and his feelings. Doing all he can to establish his empire, like I said, here at NGW. As if stalwart wasn't enough. Mr. Green sent into the corner. Nick Avery. Scoop slam. Set him up. Oh, tries to kick the corner there. Not too sure what that was all about, but now going to drag the Paragon of Prosperity, attempting to drag him over to the ropes, but breaks free. Does Mr. Clean. Not what I call him. I would never call Mr. Green and Mr. Clean to his face. But I've heard it backstage. I won't lie. Oh, knee to the face. Avery getting a free visit to the dentist right there. Mr. Green, man, what a nice guy. Free dental work. Kick to the midsection, Avery. Irish whip sends him across the ring, staying on him though, trying for a haluba kick, but Mr. Green avoids it. Cannot avoid that DDT though. My man got blasted into another dimension right there. Rapid kicks to the face. Down goes Avery. Look at Blaze. Maybe a bit over enthusiastic. They got to be hyped though. Knowing Mr. Green, I'm sure the Bogan Bros got a very lucrative deal. Super kick from Avery though. Down goes Mr. Green and almost able to put him away. Mr. Green rolls to the outside. Nick Avery hyping himself up. The energy coursing through his veins. The Spirit Walker off the top cross body to the outside. Stalking Mr. Green who's on spaghetti legs. Here comes Bulk. Getting a bit close here. Trying to perhaps throw Nick Avery off his game. It ain't working though. Fisherman's driver. Up to a count of four as Avery just keeps the pressure on, man. Absolutely obliterating Mr. Green from head to toe. Back into the ring now. Just the count of six. Bulk once again getting very close to the action here. 
Irish whip sends Avery off the ropes. Takes him down. Back kick. Sheesh. Oh, but look at this. Stalwart, the bodyguard and butler. Up out of the apron, pulling the attention of Nick Avery. Allows Mr. Green to get back into the ring. Oh, Enziguri. From the multi-millionaire entrepreneur. Would-be NGW champion. Crack on the neck of Nick Avery right there. Oh, forearm to the back of the head. Oh, not again. <laughs> Truly trying to crack my man's neck here. Slowly picks him up. Avery, though. Sweep of the leg in an instant. Gets himself back into the action. Dragon Screw. A little bit of the rowboat right there, but Mr. Green, dangerous even off his back. Kick to the side of the head. I, I love the enthusiasm of Blaze. Yeah, all of them. Chanting, cheering, raving. That's a hell of a peanut gallery right there. Punch the back of the head by Nick Avery. Just trying to ignore the outside interference. Stay focused on what's happening in the ring. Easier said than done, though. Bulldog. And Mr. Green. Looking to deliver. The check stub into the pin. One, two. But Nick Avery, he's got that direct deposit. Keeps his head above the water. And Zaguri again on the rebound. Mr. Green going up top. Could be looking for that diving knee drop of his. Or maybe not. Lining up his shot, waiting patiently up top there. Oh, nice diving drop kick. Avery letting the fans know he's still on his own two feet. This match ain't over. Mr. Green telling the fans to shut the hell up. He's trying to focus. Giving the game the old snake eyes. Now he's got him grounded. Fixing to keep him there. Not a bad strategy for a high flyer like Nick Avery. Bending back on the fingers of the Spirit Walker. Mr. Green just taking his time, slowing it down, relishing. And the opportunity to dominate. Nick Avery here again from the Camel Clutch position. Closed fists across the forehead. Things are not looking good for Nick Avery right now. Still some fight left in him though. Not to be counted out just yet. Unloading on Mr. Green, and now a DVD. Quick to roll to the outside, Mr. Green, though, not gonna find any refuge out there. Corkscrew moonsault from Nick Avery, followed up by a standing shooting star press. So, both in the background there, getting closer. Oh, here comes Blaze now, almost trying to block off that side of the ring. Nick Avery doesn't care though, takes this fight back into the squared circle. Could be looking for maybe a springboard form smash there. I thought Sunset Flip Powerbomb. Stalwart not liking what he's seeing. Stopping Mr. Green's knee into the canvas. Avery and Ziguri of his own showing the Paragon of Prosperity how it's done. And another Death Valley driver, this time right in front of the peanut gallery. Oh, come on, not again. Not again. Stalwart distracting Nick Avery. Again, Mr. Green able to make a comeback. She's oh, pulling at Nick Avery's nose. Stomped to the middle of the back. Mr. Green, the whole time with a smile on his face. Sadistic is this son of a bitch. Nick Avery, a third DVD. 
handing him out like candy on Halloween, man. Great counter by Mr. Green. Knees to the face. Yet another Enziguri. Can't get enough of him. Oh, off the ropes. Springboard dropping attempt. Misses, but Avery unable to capitalize again. His face meets the knee of Mr. Green. Rolls to the outside, trying to catch his breath. Maybe playing possum. Lured Mr. Green out there. Back in the ring before Boca Boca has a chance to attempt anything there. The Spirit Walker, another super kick. Big super kick from Nick Avery. One, two. That's all he's gonna get, but he's not finished a million miles a minute. Well, he's got the opening. Spiral tap into the pin. One, two. Nick Avery. Jaw dropped. Although willing to believe that Mr. Green just kicked out. He's going for it again. Spiral tap a second time. He said, all right, here you go then. One, two, three, and Nick Avery picking up the win despite the peanut gallery at ringside. Overcoming the odds here, stacked against him tonight. Nick Avery putting away Mr. Green. Another big win for this kid. Well, at least Reese Matthews can have a bit of a smile on his face if he's watching here. Main event, lads and gents, here on NGW episode 12. Our final first round matchup in the Cyborg Invitational. As it's Cedric Kovic taking on August Sky. And of course, Kovic's tag team partner, Kieran Gallagher, 
picking up the win in his first round matchup last episode of NGW. In fact, Kieran Gallagher and Tommy Blaze currently tied for first position. Cedric Kovic couldn't join them here. Kieran Gallagher officially joining the prestige over this past week. What started out as a shaky alliance between these two has become a formidable duo. The NGW World Tag Team Champions knowing that they will eventually have to face one another in this tournament. They're going to cross that bridge when it comes, though. It's Cedric Kovic hoping for a first-round win here. August Sky, though, keen to the shenanigans of the prestige here, not coming into this matchup alone, knowing that Kieran Gallagher going to be in the corner of Cedric Kovic. August Sky enlisted the support of his good friend, Tommy Blaze here. Fellow participant in the Cyborg Invitational, beating RJ Chin last episode of NGW. August Sky. Asking Tommy Blaze to watch his back here tonight. Blaze more than happy to oblige. August Sky unable to qualify for the championship scramble match in Miami. But now with another opportunity to perhaps earn himself a shot at the NGW championship at the risk though of being fired. Of course, we know that's what happens to the superstar with the least wins at the bottom of the scoreboard when the Cyborg Organizational is said and done. They will be fired from NGW, whereas the winner, of course, receives an NGW championship opportunity. But here we go, Cedric Kovic, August Sky, one-on-one. -on -one. Kovic immediately starting hot, dropping Sky on his head right into the pin. Could it be that easy for the Russian veteran? No. Ah, oh, damn, bitch slapping. August Sky here. That suplex. Certainly the prestige having to be ultra careful in this cyborg rotational because one of them ends up at the bottom of the scoreboard. The prestige going to be broken up. One of them will be fired. It's truly the ultimate opportunity for one superstar. You gotta be willing to risk it for the biscuit, as they say. Kovic able to surprisingly outmaneuver August Sky. There's that knee of his hold, though, showing him how it's done. Pulling Kovic up to his feet. Vertical suplex nicely done. As Tommy Blaze keeps watch at ringside. It can sure Kieran Gallagher over there doesn't try anything. Hangman's neckbreaker followed up by a butterfly suplex. Oh, but counters out of the butterfly suplex this August Sky. Mid air, beautiful disaster kick by August Sky. Walked into the corner now. Thrown out into the middle of the ring like garbage. Hearing Gallagher telling these fans in the front row to respect Cedric Kovic. Look at how quickly. August Sky moves, man. That's why he became a fan favorite here at NGW in an instant. European uppercut back elbow. Throw some face first into that middle turnbuckle. Tiger fake kick. Woo! Discus 
this. Double knees to the face. One, two. And so nearly August Sky had the win just like that. Karen Gallagher not looking too confident right now. And his boy, European uppercut vintage Sky. With some real oof behind it. Down goes Kovic into the pin. And that's all it takes. August Sky collects the dub and officially ties up with Tommy Blaze and Kieran Gallagher. That brings an end to round one of the Cyborg Invitational, guys. August Sky, Tommy Blaze, and Kieran Gallagher tied at the top of the scoreboard. Round two begins next episode of NGW, but what a win for young August Sky here.